Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I have this beautiful kit from Miss and Meow. I'm actually going to be pulling in the cafe florals from Sadie Stickers as well to supplement it. Now that I think about it, I think I would have been perfectly fine with just the two florals from uh, Miss and Meow, but I just wanted to be careful and um, as always, I try to like over like prepare. <laughs> so I wanted to pull in those and I did do this plan with me on a live with Lauren and Tay hence why the base is already down and if you have any questions about the base just let me know in the comments below. I did my usual monthly section here. I love using the Polaroids for Miss Meow and I layered a square from her kit. I did this with the Grateful kit that she did in collaboration with Foil and Lace and I was obsessed with how that turned out so I kind of wanted to replicate that and it turned out so so pretty. Um, let's see all the florals and like leaves and the day covers are from Honey Ink. A lot of the accents are from Honey Ink. Some are from The Giving Girl and then some are from Sadie Stickers. And oops, sorry, just got a message. Um, and then I also pulled in extra swatches from Miss and Meow on a separate sheet um, because I think the kit only came with three. The box on Monday that is from Bloom Paper Studio. Love those. So good. And all of my icons are from White Dare Stationery, Crafts by Towie. The wine ones are from Dash of Sun Designs. And then, um, Let's see. And then the J stickers are from Panda Bird Design, as you guys know, that's a custom. So I have been incredibly behind. I felt like I kind of had like a, I had a good rhythm going where I was uploading plan with me's and just videos in general. And then after the collaboration I did with Panda Bird Design and then going to the cabin during all of that. Um, and this was like my first full week out of training with my job. Things have just been so incredibly hectic. And any time that I have in between, like my like during my breaks in between meetings, I try to do a little bit of like planner related stuff, but it's been incredibly challenging because my job is so busy. Like there's literally, <laughs> there's really no time for me to, to stop. I have to intentionally put in my lunch breaks and I might need to start putting in like morning and afternoon breaks as well, just so I can get a breather. But um, my job is very meeting heavy and it's constantly go 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 because I'm managing so much um but yeah anyways um so on Monday I just wanted to mark that I had a meeting I walked to Jace I read and had coffee um I had a chocolate cupcake which I don't get to have very often or it's not that I don't get to I just don't I'm not a huge sweet tooth I'm definitely more of a savory person but when it comes to desserts chocolate is definitely my go-to and this cupcake sticker from Crafts by Towie is one of my favorite stickers ever. It is super cute. So any excuse to use it, I will literally use that to mark in my planner over all the same redundant stuff that I do. Um, love this oval sticker from Bloom Paper Studio. That is on my freebie with her. Obsessed with it. It's so good. I love oval stickers. It's like my new favorite thing. Um, I just think they're so good. And what kind of got me onto them was when Crafts by Towie started including ovals in her like add-on sheet with her um, boxes and like icons I think they're just so good love them so much that shape to me is just so appealing and I think it's like the perfect kind of shape because it's like more rectangular and not fully like round like a circle um but it's like shorter in height it's just so perfect I don't know why I'm going so in depth about sh shapes here but here we are um also just wanted to say thank you to anybody who has supported the panda bird design Gathered Layers Collection collab that I did with Jess. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much and thank you just if you um, just supported in any way, whether or not you shared it, you commented, you liked it, you messaged me, you bought from the collection. Just thank you so much for supporting us and just showing your love. It means the world to me and I love this community. I love the platform that I have. So I just want you guys to know that it means the world and I appreciate you so, so much. Okay, so with that being said, <laughs> on Tuesday, um, I talked to a friend on the phone and then I had a latte. Love that latte sticker from Crafts by Towie. It's so good. The flourishes I'm pulling in, those are all from Sadie Stickers. They're beautiful. I love how intricate they are. I pulled in a swatch from the kit. So amazing. I need to pick up more from Miss and Meow. Um, so yeah, definitely got to go pick up some more of those. And let's see... Oh, I watched Jace. I'm like looking at my planner and my screen at the same time. Um, I uploaded a haul. And oh, by the way, I've been obsessed with using my Sarasa, um, my Zebra. So like this pen is so good. I've been, I forget that it's in my pocket planner and I just forgot that I had it for a long time. I just love the Sarasa pens in general, but the way that this like holds, it's so good and it's the matte black and it's in 0.5. So I just feel like my handwriting 
consistently looks the best with this pen. And I just love the way like it feels in my hand. It's like, it's kind of heavy and sturdy um, and not as flimsy. So for me, that's just like, I just love the grip, like the hold on it. it just, it's amazing. If you're a stationary or pen lover, I think you get it. So I just bought a second one. I do love the vintage collection, but it's a bummer that the other colors are actually like colored pens, which I'm sure I can take the actual like um, refills out and just like put in black. But um, because I do love the green one and like the purple one, they're so pretty and like the, the, the brown pen. Oh, so pretty. I know. I'm talking about pens. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, let's see. I um, had wine, pasta, and took a bath and listened to music. That was like a great night. It was totally a great night for me. I love doing that. Just kind of like pampering myself. Um, the wine bottle or wine glass is from Dash of Sun Designs and the bathtub that is from Oyster Stationery. All right. So on Wednesday, I wanted to mark 1110 on here. It's just kind of one of those um, numbers that are just very special to me. I don't know if you guys care about like numbers or if they have any sentimental meaning to you um, but I'm definitely someone that like is a huge fan of signs and symbols and numbers like that's just something I've always been really into since I was a little kid and yeah so I wanted to just mark this because I always catch the clock at 11 11 but then um, something happened in my life and like I caught it at 11 10 when I was younger and it's kind of like this very significant thing for me so whenever 11 10 like the actual day hits I just like to actually mark this in my planner because I think it's super cute and means a lot to me so I did that I know Sherry of planning peep she's talked about like making a day like one of her days um, and she marks it every year and I thought that was so cute um, and I don't know why I never thought about actually marking 11 10 in my planner whenever the day actually comes so let me know in the comments below if you guys do anything like that or in your planners if you just mark a special day every year or all the time and if um, you just have a day that's just sentimental to you so and for no reason like it just <laughs> I don't know like it doesn't have to be like an anniversary but just something so random I guess and I think that's what what's so beautiful about this is I love how just random it is for me but it's also so simple and significant okay I had a latte and I read and then I used another flourish I also used all the swatches to mark my walks with it Jace I just wanted to keep that consistent as much as possible and I think I did a pretty good job I'm looking at my planner. Yeah, I think I marked all of my walks with him with a swatch. So that's consistent. On Wednesday here, I did something different. I tried to use a lot more white space and not use boxes. So for the last three things I marked, I don't usually do this. If you guys know my planning style, I usually have one or two things I'll mark without a box. But this time I did three, which was like, I didn't even recognize my spread when I did that because <laughs> I felt like that was totally so white spacey and not something I normally do. Um, okay, on Thursday, I marked uh, Walking Jace again and then using the side swoops or the swoops from Sadie Stickers. These are the ones with the leaves on them for fall. Super perfect and pretty. I talked to one of my best friends over the phone using a vintage icon from Crafts by Towie. These are my favorite phones ever. They're super adorable. I think I just love like the shape of them and they're just so cute. <laughs> I also layered some more circles. Um, the foiled ones at the bottom are all from Bloom Paper Studio. And then um, I'm going to trim this down because I I like how like circles looked flushed at the bottom of like the column or where something ends. I just think it looks really good kind of like coming out. And um, a trick here is I just used, actually I found this from, I think JC, she said to like tear out a piece of your reusable sticker book paper and just using that actually um, to, to layer stickers on so you're not like um, using the sticker sheets from the kit. That makes any sense. I don't know why I never did that. I've always just used the sticker kit like paper and um, I would struggle because I would try to fit the stickers and the layering I was doing in like a small box. So super genius. So thank you. Thank you for that, JC. That's really awesome. Um, I marked filming a plan with me and layered um, the two circles on top of that. I'm going to put more florals throughout the week later on just because like I said, I ended up having way more than I thought I would have left over, so I'm going to, you know, spread the love a little bit. Um, I had wine and relaxed, so I used the same kind of combination of the wine bottle as well as the bath, the bathtub from White Deer Stationery. I watched you and had COVID this night. Um, okay, let me just say, I finished watching you, um, I think a week or a week and a half ago, maybe. Crazy. If you guys know, you know, season three. Like, what's even going to happen in season four? Like, I don't... Is there going to be a season four? I'm assuming. There has to be. Because they didn't really end it where it could be like, like, this is it, you know? Like, 
Um, I'm not going to do any spoilers, obviously, but I'm still kind of like blown away. I do love that season three was so quick, as in like they were not wasting any time. I'm not going to lie. The first season, I kind of snoozed a little bit halfway through the season. I was like, okay, this is taking forever. Let's get to the point. Let's get, let's spice things up a little bit. Like, I feel like the tortoise in the race, you know, like what's going on? <laughs> and then season two came out. I'm like, okay, this is a little bit better. I love love. She's cool. Like this is making things a little bit more spicy. Like we're just spicing stuff up. And then season three, they were like, listen, a whole tornado just came through. Like this is literally the season. And I was blown away. Thank you. You. <laughs> thank you to the creators of you and whatever they did for season three, whoever y'all brought on. Thank you. Thank you. You. <laughs> All right. I'm just being silly. Okay. So love this season. So good. Obsessed. So good. Okay. Someone told me to watch Shameless. Do you like it? Do you guys like Shameless? I watched the first episode and I was kind of like, hmm. Like, hmm. See, I like Letterkenny. I like Parks and Rec, Office, Community. Like, those are all fun to me. Shameless, I don't think it's, I think they're, it's a little bit different maybe. Maybe I'm judging too soon. Um, but there are so many seasons, right? I, how do I even start? Um, Maybe I should give it a chance. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, okay. <laughs> I just talked through like uh, most of Friday. Okay. So I had training at 10. I used a laptop. I'm going to switch out the pumpkin. And I forgot that I was cutting up some florals to make it look like the icons came with the kit. Got that inspo from Lauren. Um, a flourish. And then I uploaded a plan with me. Let's see. What else did I do? What else did I do? Hmm. And then I used a box to mark that I put on makeup. I love this super cute, like, make uh, compact makeup situation here. So adorable. And then I also... Oh, this was the night that um, I watched Tom Segura in person. And he is so good. Like, the way he just, like, owns that stage, it's, it's so captivating. I truly felt like I was watching him on TV. Like, that's how surreal it felt. But I was, I was only five rows away from the stage. Um, but he's just so good. Like... He is like consistently funny. Like the whole show was constantly at a really great level. You know, like he he was just so captivating. He was funny. Um, there was never a dull moment. Like he is hilarious. And I don't know. He's a funny dude. <laughs> his facial expressions crack me up. Not to mention his body language. I, yeah, he's a, he's funny. <laughs> and then afterwards, um, I went to a wine bar. It was delicious. We had charcuterie boards and then wine and I had the best gnocchi ever. So good. And it was a rainy, it wasn't rainy. It was like sprinkling. It was like a little bit misty outside. So it was perfect. Um, also the Tom Segura show, like parking was a, a crap shoot. Like, let me just say, so we ended up parking in a reserve spot because they literally, while we were waiting in line to, to park, um, the person that was handling parking was like, sorry, we're out of parking spots. And I was like, excuse me, where do you expect me to park? Like I paid for a ticket. What are we doing? What are we doing? And then like, just, and then she was like, she whispered and she's like, just park in a reserve spot. They won't tow you. And I was like, okay, listen, I'm gonna find you. If I get towed, I'm gonna find you. Like I'm going to look for you. Okay. And I like stared at her badge and I saw her name. I was like, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I repeated her name. <laughs> She thought I was joking, but I was I wasn't joking. And then <laughs> we parked in the reserve parking spot. Thankfully, we didn't get towed. I I will say I was a little bit frightened I was gonna get towed, but we didn't. Um, it was a quick show. It was like an hour and a half. Um, also I love how Tom Segura and the opening act called people out for being late. I thought it was the funniest thing. Like they're just literally putting everybody and their mom on blast. And I was like, cool. This is the kind of <laughs> scene that we're in. This is great. This is hilarious. I had a great time. Probably one of the best nights I've had this year. It was so amazing. Um, anyways, what else? All right. I just talked through Saturday. What are we doing, Rachel? What are we doing? I walked Jace. I had a nail appointment. This is when I was trying to be bougie and have long nails. And then that only lasts like, you know, a week or two. I kind of go through a phase where I like having long nails. And then I'm just like, how do I function? I don't know how to. And then I had brunch with one of my best friends. And then I also took my mom and sister out to an Italian restaurant and treated them. And we just had a girls night. It was fun. It was nice. I had a very delicious wine. I love cabs. I'm starting to like enjoy a little drier wines. Um, I'm definitely more of like a medium. Like I don't like overly sweet at all. Um, but I do. I like drier, more 
dry wines now. The older I'm getting, I'm starting to appreciate and like them. So, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop pretending like I know a lot about wine because Lauren is probably watching this and being like, girl, stop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sunday, um, I made breakfast and had a latte, watched more of you, did an Instagram live with Lauren and Tay, and had wine and a self-care kind of night. So lots of self-care nights this week. Seriously, what have I been doing this week? I have been slacking the current week that I'm living in right now because I haven't done one of these in a while. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this really all over the place voiceover, super um, chatty and random. But uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you're doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. And um, also, if you celebrate the holidays, happy holidays. And I hope that, you know, you're able to travel, see family and do it safely and that you're having a great time. And yeah, stay safe, you guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye.